Hello, welcome to my channel, The Mindless Spoken 22. My name is Nati. This channel is for adults only. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you all like my readings, if you all like my vibe, help me grow. We can grow together. So this is a general energy check-in for Sagittarius, all right, Sag gang. So take what feed, leave what doesn't. Don't force any reading into your life. If you have to ask who, what, when, where, how, and why says game, that means that this reading is not for you. I do curse on my channel, so if you don't like the cursing, you can always move to another channel. So what's good, says gang? I hope that everyone is doing wonderful, well. So we're going to hop right into y'all energy to see what message this spirit has for you all, okay? What is the energy for Sagittarius, please, spirit? We have telepathy. So I feel like somebody either has been trying to reach out to you telepathically or you could be trying to reach out to somebody telepathically. I feel like it's this divine masculine who's been trying to reach out to you telepathically. I feel like they're in a lot of pain, okay? Um, this could be somebody who you were married to or in some sort of long-term commitment with, or maybe this person could be married, just take it how it fit. But I feel like you are taking a step back, relaxing, trusting into your spirit, guys. You're taking a step back to pause from this person. I feel like this person is in a lot of pain here. I feel like they want your forgiveness. They could be in a lot of regret here. Um, they could also do a lot of drinking, but I feel like y'all are coming into some good karma, partying, getting your gifts here, hanging around high body people. I feel like this person was some sort of karmic partner who had, who you have some past life taught a lesson. And I feel like you're no longer dealing with this karmic partner anymore. You're finding new friends, um, friendly relationships. You're raising your vibrations and getting closer to others here. I feel like you are working on your self-worth maybe at one point you in this masculine or you you could be a masculine i don't know just take it how it fit you and this person were struggling with your self-worth but i feel like you chose to work on yours here okay i feel like this person didn't have any boundaries here um they're not speaking up um they're just sitting here trying to reach out to you telepathically, but I feel like they're not getting anything back because it's like blank here on this paper. It's like they're not getting anything from you at this point. I feel like you could be coming into somebody new here who's on your same vibration, somebody who is very affectionate, someone who will open doors for you or you're going to open doors for somebody and they're going to appreciate it, okay? I feel like um, you have been some sort of provider. You've been making the effort to try to to make things right at one point with this person, but I feel like you're just chilling on it right now. Again, this person has been trying to reach out to you telepathically here. Uh, possibly you could be dreaming about this person or doing a lot of thinking about this person. Um, Yeah, but see, you're coming into somebody here who's going to really love you. Um, you could be a divine feminine or this, you know, this situation involves a, involves a divine feminine and a divine masculine. So just put the pieces to where you fit, okay? <clears throat> what is the energy? Um, we're going to get one more card out of this deck. Yeah, this new person here is going to be a lot of passion, a lot of fire and desire here, okay? You're going to have, look, we got this. We got, you don't even see this coming, okay, Sags? You got a new person that's coming, but your past person has been trying to reach out to you telepathically here, feeling betrayed or feeling hopeless because I feel like you're moving on possibly with somebody new for some of y'all. If y'all haven't found nobody new yet, y'all just simply moving on for yourself. Okay, and because y'all are going to love yourself, because y'all are going to be working on your self worth, <clears throat> you're going to come into somebody loyal here, somebody honest. Okay, um, this person is over here feeling heartbroken, betrayed, if pain. This person could have even recently got some sort of back surgery or something, I don't know, or they might have to get some sort of back surgery. But this person is over here, um pretending that everything is fine but it's really not what is the energy for sad yeah i feel like that's the truth um for some of these people somebody could even have a lawsuit here and they could be they have to get some sort of 
surgery or back pain issue. I don't know what that message is about. Okay. Could be this masculine, could be you divine feminine, but I feel like you're out here being led. You know, the truth, you know, you're spirit is guiding you towards what's best for you all because you're realizing your self-worth for some of y'all y'all could feel like y'all don't have much but y'all have more than you can ever imagine y'all please excuse my son give me one second sorry about that y'all you know the kids they be turned up when they be on them games but yeah so um this i feel like you might feel like you don't have much to give or maybe that's how this person feel over here i'm not quite sure but you're being led in a whole new direction you're withdrawing your energy here. And I feel like this person is depressed about their trifling mistakes that they could have made with you. Doing nothing but sitting here trying to reach out to you, not even over the phone, but they definitely want to reunite with you. Okay? They're feeling left out in the cold here. <clears throat> They're thinking, they've been really thinking about reaching out to you, but they haven't. They just, I feel like, like I said, I don't know, somebody feel like they don't have much to give. But I feel like you're you're giving to to spirit, and because you're giving to spirit, you are finna boss up or something here. Yeah, you are awakening and moving forward. Okay, Sage, this is your energy. Um, yeah, y'all just y'all just moving on with y'all life here. Y'all being the queen of swords on this person. Y'all like uh uh, spirit is helping me get my finances in control. I'm talking to spirit every day. I'm thanking God every day or whoever you worship. Okay, and you're moving on. For some of y'all, y'all could have got a brand new motorcycle, brand new bike, brand new scooter, brand new car. Okay, brand new home, brand new man, brand new woman. Okay, and somebody mad going to be mad about that. But you're not going to let this person come fuck up what you already got going on. But they really going to want to. They're going to want to sabotage this shit. They're going to want to sabotage this shit, Shad. Okay, but you're not going to let them. It ain't going to work out because you're too busy starting something what spirit has for you, what the divine has for you. You're moving the fuck on and you ain't finna give two fucks about it, period. <laughs> okay, you finna give up. You giving the fuck up. You finna find an emperor here. You finna find an emperor here. Okay. Um. But yeah, I'm done with this reading, y'all. If anything resonates, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, y'all finna be Queen of Pentacles energy. Possible y'all finna have a new baby. But y'all finna come into some um possibly new business. Uh business owner, boss lady, boss man here. Just take it how it fits. Uh y'all finna be networking with people who is going to put you in the right places at the right time. Like, these people is going to love you, and these people are going to know your worth. You're not going to have to prove your worth to these people. They're going to see your worth, unlike this person here, okay? So if anything resonated, take it how it fit. Leave what doesn't. I love you all, Sash Gang. And until next time, bye, gang, gang.